Welcome to Central's Devotional for today. I'm Pastor Julian Scavetti. I wanted to go over a very special passage. Philippians 4.13 I can do all things through him who strengthens me. The King James Version reads, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Back in 1996, a, a over-the-hill Evander Holyfield was facing uh, the champion at the time in the boxing world, Iron Mike Tyson, the most feared man in all of boxing. Evander Holyfield was an underdog in that fight. And I remember specifically as I watched it, and fighting b- boxing was uh, really popular at the time, I remember watching Evander Holyfield walk to the ring with praise music on. And he had on his collar written all the way down here of his robe, Philippians 4.13. And I thought, man, what does that mean? And I looked it up, and I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And wouldn't you know it, Evander Holyfield upset Mike Tyson in that boxing match and won the title. That passage has stuck with me ever since I even had it put on my wall. And I think that this passage is especially applicable to you and the situation that we find ourselves in right now. To give you a little bit more background on this particular verse, uh, it sounds great. I can do all things through Him who strengthens me through Christ. Like you could lift a house up over your head, you know. I can become the President of the United States. I can, you know, I could swim the English Channel. I can climb Mount Everest without a coat, you know. I can do all things through Him who strengthens me. Um, But there's a little bit more to it than that and and more relevant to us right now. Not that you can't do anything through Christ because He says that... (laughs) You can you have faith to move the mountains through him. Um but but here's what I'm getting at. In verse twelve, um he says, the apostle Paul says, I know how to be brought low, and I know how to abound. In any and every circumstance, I have learned the secret to facing plenty and hunger, abundance and need. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. So in times of need, in times of abundance, which, hey, we've had abundance for quite a while in our lives with the way that things were before the coronavirus hit. And now we find ourselves in need, in need of uh, a viable uh safe, effective treatment for the coronavirus, in need of feeling safe to be outside and around our neighbors, around other people. We we have a need for toilet paper. I'm going to the stores and I still don't see any toilet paper stocked on those shelves. Uh, There's a lot of aisles that are just empty. Uh, We're in need of, we're in need of supplies at our stores. We're in need of, of people to uh, stock the shelves. There's a lot of need that we see right now uh, that we didn't notice before. We're in need of somebody to watch our kids. We're in need of somebody to uh, to, to to encourage us. Uh, it's we have a lot of needs, uh, but whether whether it's abundance, whether we have a lot and we're doing great, or we have need. We need Christ who will strengthen us and lead us how to handle abundance and need in every circumstance in between. So let me encourage you to put your trust in Jesus Christ and to lean on him and to trust in him because you can do all things because Christ is the one who who will be your strength when you lean on him. God bless you, uh, and let me pray for you. Father in heaven, pray that we continue to, to lean on you, and if we haven't already, that we put our full trust in you to help us through uh, the way the world is right now and to uh, up, uplift you, worship you, be steadfast in our faith, 
We thank you, Lord, for your many blessings in our lives. And help us now that most of us are in a time of need that we never expected before. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you and have a great day.